Before I continue, let me explain how we are making this bread. Welcome to Kendall's Corner. Today I want to come and explain this recipe that you're about to see. What I did, I was making a loaf of bread. And in the process of making this loaf of bread, I had a good portion remaining in the dough because I did need extra just in case I wanted to do something else or try something else. So that is exactly what I did. I had some hot dog sausages. I took the sausages and I used the remaining dough that I had and I make some bite-sized sausage roll and turn that in the old, those individual sausage roll into a whole loaf and I place some sesame seed. So as the video go along, I will explain better as we continue in the video. And in the midst of all this corona that is taking place worldwide, I pray that everyone is keeping safe. Look over the young ones and the elderly. Take care of yourself, build your immune system. Simple ingredients like honey, garlic, ginger. You put that in our water and you just give it some good pong in. That didn't sound right. But you know, you mince it well, or you can mince all the herbs in a fruit processor and then put the honey and then mix everything. It's, it all depends how you would like to do it. But we carry on people, we will use a mortar and a pestle, put all the ingredients in there and bring it together. Or you could also use shark oil and honey. That's a good, good, good remedy. So ladies and gentlemen, enough rambling. Stay safe and let's get into this. How should I call this recipe? Click the bell for new videos. So, now I'm going to take each piece of dough and place in my press. This is actually a tortilla press. So, let me explain the measurements. What I did, I made each dough palm size and then cut that in half. And that's the size that I am using for my individual sausage rolls. It's just some bite size sausage rolls, right? That we're making into a loaf so once flattened to the thickness that i prefer i am going to use the sausages that i cut and roast on my hot plate and i'm going to use the flat side and place it down and take up the end and seal it on the surface of the sausage pressing it down and then i'm going to roll that end tightly and then and now I'm going to seal the bottom and seal the edges, pressing it down and then folding it in on itself and also on top. You're going to pull that in. I'm going to turn it on the other side and do the same. So that is how I did all of my individual bite-sized <coughs> sausage rolls. And I'm going to place them in a bread pan. Now you can use... A flat baking sheet but I wanted it to be a tight loaf I didn't want it too loose otherwise we'll just be making individual sausage rolls so I want this to be a, a I wanted this to be a proper loaf so I placed them tightly into my non-stick bread pan as you're about to see here I'm going to place it very tightly once I'm finished and I'll come back when we are ready to do the second step. After fixing them properly into my bread pan, I'm going to give it an egg wash and then I'm going to sprinkle some unpatched sesame seed. I am using unpatched because I'm already going to put it into the oven so it will therefore it will be patched at that point in time so I didn't bother to actually patch it or buy patched sesame seed for this okay and this bread was just like a spur at the moment thing but before we continue <laughs> So 
So as I mentioned, this bread was a sort of spur the moment thing because I had extra dough to make something else and I had some sausages so I put this together. So if you want a loaf, don't make it in a baking sheet but a, but use a bread pan so it, it wouldn't spread and go all over the place because remember this dough is for bread so there is yeast, there is baking powder, baking soda. So if you put it in a sheet, it will just spread out in, instead of getting you that nice loaf that you're looking for. And that's how I put my roasted sausage stuff sesame seed loaf together now let's cut it open i just want to cut it at an angle in a slow motion for you to see that no matter at what angle you cut you would get a piece of sausage and i'm also going to show you when you remove them as an individual sausage roll you would also not be cutting into the other sausage roll simply cut where that other one where we just cut ended and I am going to cut the next groove so basically each individual sausage is more or less giving you a groove to cut so therefore you won't be cutting into the other sausage roll because it is properly well sealed in the piece of dough the way we sealed it it is perfectly sealed so you don't have to worry so i'm now going to cut into that individual sausage roll so you can clearly see i'm showing you both ends that i didn't cut into the other roll and i just want to give you a close-up as to how soft this dough is because remember we were making bread and this was extra dough that i had which I did purposely need extra dough in order to make something. I wasn't actually sure what I wanted to do and this came to mind. So cutting into the individual sausage roll, I'm just going to show you how perfectly sealed this sausage was into this piece of dough. Note, you can also add cheese to this, vegetables to this, you can add some shrimp. You know, but I just wanted to do a plain version just to show you what you could do just to change things around a little bit with your bread making and get the kids involved. They're home. Get, get them involved in the kitchen with you. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your constant support.